Hey everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. Recently, I saw um, the girl who played with fire, and uh, this is the Swedish version. And honestly, I really enjoyed it. I, th I thought it was extremely interesting, and even though it was quite convoluted, uh, there were so many people involved in this particular chapter of the film that it was a little bit muddied at points, but you learn why Elizabeth is the way she is, and, and why she's such a multifaceted character, and um, in this one, you learn that she truly is invincible, and I won't say why, but uh, a small spoiler of the film's plot is that she has been convicted of murdering some Johns and some pimps. And Michael, of course, he believes that this is a frame job, that somebody is setting her up, but he really isn't sure who. Um, of course, as I said before, Elizabeth's past is revealed about her father and her, uh, her, um, psychosis is uh, uncovered, um, and the the abuse and just the horrible atro atrocities that she endured as a, a little girl and her mother you just you feel really sad for the both of them and then you realize why she is as mixed up as she is and of course um, later on she has a, a lover who gives her a cigarette case that comes in handy by the way I won't say why but it's just a teeny spoiler um, <laughs> and of course, uh, her, um, her friend is, her significant other is, uh, kidnapped by this tank of a man, this big blonde Hulk, uh, who has agnosia, which is, well, not agnosia, excuse me, analgesia, agnosia, it means you can't recognize something, analgesia, it means, um, uh, the ability not to feel pain, or you just don't feel anything at all, and it's a congenital defect that, he has uh, inherited apparently and um, <laughs> there's a there's a guy who comes in on the case this this boxer um, he goes to rescue her um, and uh, he he discovers this man's uh, strange condition and of course at the end we're left with more questions rather than answers and uh, and we get to to see her father and uh, where the connections are with that and I, I really won't, don't want to reveal too much because it's extremely um, layered and it's just it's very um, confounding in places but despite that it's really a fantastic film uh, there was one scene I had to fast forward past just because I'm, I'm not into that sort of thing. It just doesn't do anything for me. I know you probably think you're a prude, but, um, you know, I thought it was kind of unnecessary, but, you know, for the character development, I thought it was, you know, it had to be there. You know, it is what it is. And as far as movies are concerned, I, I give this one a 3.5 out of 4. And I'm looking forward to The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest, which is the final chapter in the Millennium Trilogy, which I will be reviewing soon, so check it out.